Hello everybody, happy Sunday. I'm actually headed over to the shed so I can get the welder and put a door on a fenced off area that is fencing out cows from stepping on my solar panels. And these solar panels are being put up for a temporary array for the RV. I will talk about that in a later video, but in this video, I'm going to go back a couple days, few days, and show you guys the pallet shed that I built and how it's stood up to the rains and the winds that we've gotten out here. I actually feel like it, I can do a true assessment on it now because it's gotten beaten pretty good by these rains as well as the, the winds. The winds are really bad and the rains are no joke either. So. I'm just gonna show you guys what you can do with pallets and a couple other tricks that I learned while I was doing this and just give you guys an assessment. So here we go. All right, so here I am at the pallet shed. And if you follow us here, you've seen this in other videos, but I just wanted to point this thing out now because it's rained quite a bit out here since I've been here and it's really taken a beating from the winds to the rain and you know there was a lot of question marks with this thing because the framing was good on it the rafters were good but i had some questions on what the the outer shell here of what i used so what i actually used on this was not osb there's a couple pieces of osb in the front from scrap wood but what you're actually looking at is hardboard and this is the hardboard that you get at Lowe's Home Depot that's like you know $11 a sheet you put it on the back of dressers and bookshelves and things like that the only modification I made was that I added asphalt emulsion to it and just rolled it on for the outside because what I'm ultimately going to be doing is stuccoing the outside of this building so once I put the the paper on and the lathe you know the stuff that looks like chicken wire it's right over there um, then I'm gonna be stuck on the building and it's gonna have the Santa Fe look to it the top there I'm not finished with yet. There's a I kind of want to do something to the front of it. It'll be a surprise But anyways, I just wanted to point this out and it's holding up really well We've had quite a bit of wind and quite a bit of rain. Uh, the roof has held up just fine on it the the outer shell it's it's gotten a little damp on the outside i looked inside and some water's leaking down because there's creases and stuff and cracks that it can get through but i think it's going to hold up just fine before i'm able to get the stucco on here but the doors here were made out of pallet wood the whole frame's made out of pallet wood the only thing that's not really pallet wood is are the rafters i just went with standard rafters but look how cool the doors look they're just they're weathering nicely and the actual door handles, I welded uh, railroad spikes. So I think that looks pretty cool. So the railroad spike door handles. And if you come inside, you can see that, you know, it's holding up, everything's staying dry in here. That's what we wanted. It's, you know, a little bit of a mess in here, but also on the roof here, if you wanna see something cool. So you see how I did the rafters, I spaced them normal. Um, I believe they were at 16 each. Yeah, 16 inches on center. They're spaced. I got the hurricane ties up. And so what I did was on the cross sections here, I just used pallet slats. And they're, you know, only about five inches space maximum between them. And so with that, I was able to use that hardboard again on the roof. So the roof on this sucker is literally an eighth of an inch thick. I'm not kidding. And I basically did the same thing you would do with the normal roof where I put the emulsion on, then I put some some of the sealer to seal the cracks off, and then I just put the rubberized roof coating on it. And there's zero leaks. We've had lots of rains, not one drop of water coming through on here. So it's held up really nice. And like I said, it's only an eighth of an inch thick. So I just wanted to point that out to people if, uh, for another option of building a shed. Uh, you know, you can definitely use pallets to do it and you can make it look really nice. So, um, you know, once the weather cooperates here and I get some time, this thing's gonna be all stuccoed up and look pretty. So just thought I would show that off to you. And so I'm gonna get back to going to the RV and just 
hanging out and just probably going to walk around the property here and just see look at the water and see where things are running and that kind of thing so y'all have a good weekend and i'll see you next week